Hey, what's up everybody? Today I want to talk about why you should read the book Dark Side of the Light Chasers by Debbie Ford. The main reason you should read this book is because it's a great self-help book about learning about your shadow. And the book says that Debbie Ford conducts seminars on the dark side at the Shopper Center for Wellbeing in La Jolla, California, where she is a consultant teacher and integral faculty member. So that's really who Debbie Ford was. Unfortunately, she died a few years ago. But what she really specialized in was this shadow work. And this is one of the books she's most well known for. And the shadow work is basically work you have to do on yourself to find out you know, your shadow, which is the dark side of yourself, the, the negative emotions or the negative characteristics that we all have. And that's why you need to read this book. Most likely because you have never explored these negative emotions about yourself or you've always pushed them away. And that's what this book t teaches you, that those negative emotions are there to teach you and you should integrate with them. If you've never looked into the negative emotions like your anger or your fear or anything like this, all those things are there for a reason and you need to explore them. And this book has plenty of exercises to help you do that. And another reason you might want to read this book is because you might be overly critical of other people in your life. And I know that's happened to me and a lot of times I just walk around and there's somebody there and I'll be like, I don't like that person for X, Y, Z reason. And what Debbie says in this book is that those reasons are actually reflections on yourself. You might think somebody else is sloppy because you're sloppy or you have a fear of being sloppy because of something you were told in your childhood. And a lot of times these things add up and they'll hold you back in your life. And that's one key thing about this book too is it it tells you that you have to address all of these negative emotions. Otherwise, you're never gonna be able to be fulfilled or pursue your dreams because these negative emotions are everywhere in your life. And it, most likely, if you're afraid to pursue your dreams, it's because you haven't explored these things. Another reason that I feel like The Dark Side of the Light Chasers is a great book is because there's a lot of positive stuff out there. There's a lot of positive self-help books and they teach you to do positive affirmations and be positive and pray and meditate and those things will work to an extent but what Debbie says is that you need to actually look into these negative aspects because they'll they'll overcome your life. You'll end up lashing out, you'll end up giving up because you've done all these things and they're not working and you can take it from Debbie because Debbie's been an addict, she's done tons of seminars She's been through a divorce. She has another book called Spiritual Divorce, which I like. So it's like you can do all these positive things and people complain that they don't work. Like Mark Manson in The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. He just, you know, he says give up on self-help. And, and I think a lot of what he's saying is that you have to, there's so much of self-help that's just positive and writing down affirmations. And Debbie talks about those things and how those things can help you. But if you don't explore the negative aspects about your life and integrate them and, and accept them for what they are, then you'll never make progress in your life. And the last reason I'll cover why you should read this book is if, if you need help in pursuing your dreams, if you're stuck. It's one of the biggest reasons if, you're, if you stu feel stuck in your life and you tried everything else and you're not going after your dreams, you're not achieving your goals, you're not as creative as you could be. You know, maybe it's something that you're not pursuing. It's that that feeling of perfection or that you'll be criticized and all these things, all these negative emotions that you've been pushing off. You've been wearing a mask for too long and you haven't explored these darker sides of yourself. You need to look into those before you can progress in your life. So if you've been looking into nothing but positivity, positivity and the self-help and you're feeling stuck and you want to pursue your dreams, you need to read this book because that's one of the biggest things she says in here. You can't pursue your dreams without accepting yourself wholly, without accepting your whole being, which is your positive and negative. You have to accept yourself and realize you're capable of so much more if you just accept every single piece of yourself. So if you're feeling stuck and you read a lot of other self-help, I really recommend this book. It's a great book. It's Dark Side of Light Chasers by Debbie Ford. So go out and read it. And as you can see, I got it from the library. So just pick it up at the library or buy it on Amazon. Uh, thanks for watching. And make sure to watch my other 
videos on dark side of light chasers i have some notes on it that i that i recorded some videos on so make sure to check those out and also make sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you like it